I've said it before, your moisture barrier is the root of all healthy and glowing skin. And the moisture barrier is really at the forefront of every skincare routine that I put together. So when I see products that come out that are solely dedicated to taking care of your moisture barrier or even whole lines dedicated to moisture barrier care, I get really excited. So give this video a big thumbs up because today we're going to explore one of those Korean brands that is all about barrier care. We're going to be talking about all of barrier today. We're going to be talking about the products in their skincare line. We're going to talk about their dual moist process and we're going to find out which products are going to be right for you. <music> Barrier is a combination of two words, the word olive and the word barrier, olive barrier. And they're really focused on minimal skincare that takes care of the skin's barrier by using olive-derived squalane oil. They also really believe in skincare that is pH balanced. All of their products are a pH of 5.5 and they really do focus on ingredients that are mild and appropriate for sensitive skin. Now Oliveria is all about minimal ingredients lists and they really put an emphasis on those ingredients being natural and organic. They are also a cruelty-free brand that is also vegan. They are in fact cruelty cruelty-free and vegan certified by PETA. This is also an entire skincare line that is 100% fragrance free. That is natural fragrances and synthetic fragrances. There's no, you know, sneaky essential oil use in here at all. You will not find essential oils in the Olive Barrier line at all. It is truly 100% fragrance free skincare. This is also going to be free of any drying or simple alcohols, which is a big plus for those of us with sensitive skin. So I just want to give you a heads up. Olive Barrier actually only uses natural preservatives in their skincare. And that's not a bad thing. You know, they're not using synthetic preservatives or parabens. But the reason that I want to bring this up is it means that you really do want to use the skincare up in a timely fashion. Once you've opened up products with natural preservatives, you want to make sure that you use them within about six to nine months, which is plenty of time to use up a skincare product. But I do want to just kind of let you guys know, for those of you who kind of like to keep things in your stash, maybe use it for a couple of months, put it away, and then, you know, take it back out again. Probably not the best idea for these products with natural preservatives because they do just have a slightly shorter shelf life than the products that we have that are being preserved by parabens and synthetic preservatives. Now, if you live in a hot and humid climate, you want to be especially aware of this. Not anything to be too concerned about, but you just want to be aware of it. The fact that you might want to use this up even sooner than the six to nine months or consider putting the more liquid products in the refrigerator. So let's talk ingredients. Now, most of the products in the Oliveria line are gonna be using what they call dual moist. Now, dual moist is a combination of two ingredients that in my mind really do embody the philosophy of Oliveria, that olive barrier philosophy of taking care of your moisture barrier. So the first ingredient in the dual moist system is going to be squalane. Now, remember, squalane is derived from olives and that's part of the Oliveria philosophy. Now you may have the question, is it squalane? L-A-N-E, or is it squalene, L-E-N-E? You may have seen it spelled both ways and you might have been confused, and I have to be 100% honest with you. I have been confused by this too, and I have used the spelling interchangeably, and it's not been right. So let's break down the difference. Squalene, L-E-N-E, -E, is actually naturally created by your body. You have squalene in you right now. Squalene is produced by your body uh, for a whole host of reasons, but one of the reasons is to keep your skin moisturized. Now, like all of the good components that our body naturally creates to keep our skin healthy and supple and moisturized, just like everything else, once you start aging, those the production starts to go down in your body. So from around the age of 25 and then all the way up, your squalene levels are going to decrease, which is why a lot of a lot of times when you get older, you notice that your skin gets a little bit drier with time. Now, squalene is also found naturally from plant sources. Like we said, it is derived from olives as well as in shark livers. Now, here's the thing. If you're going to take squalene and extract it to, for use for skin 
skincare, it's actually extremely volatile and it oxidizes quickly, which is spells like no bueno for our skin, right? You can't use a volatile ingredient like that that oxidizes. So skincare chemists have always found a way around these things. They've actually come up with a way of taking squalolene, hydro hydrogenating it, and creating squalolane, L-A-N-E. This is the more stable form of squalolene and it does not oxidize, making it really, really good for skincare use. So squalolane is a really interesting ingredient to me because remember, it is the hydrogenated form of squalolene, which is naturally produced by your body. So when you put squalolane on your skin, it is considered a skin identical ingredient, which makes this appropriate for every single skin type because remember our body naturally produces a form of this and when we put squalolane on our skin our skin recognizes it not as a skincare product but as its own compound something that it's created itself which means it accepts that squalolane into the skin very deeply very important for effectiveness and it knows what to do with it it knows how to use it effectively and that is not true of every single ingredient that we put on our skin which is why squalolane is going to be perfect for all skin skin types. However, however, it actually is even more ideal for certain skin types that produce a lot of oil or sebum on their skin because squalolane can actually help over time to regulate your sebum production. So if you have too much sebum being produced by your skin, the use of squalolane could actually help to bring those oil levels down for you. Even more, is there even more? Yes, there's even more, even more exciting, at least what I found. Those of us who are prone to acne or clogged pores, there have been studies that have been done on the sebum produced by individuals who are prone to acne and clogged pores and individuals who are not prone. And there is a difference between our sebum. Can you believe it? Now, sebum for those who are prone to acne and clogged pores, there is a higher level of keratin in the sebum, creating almost a more waxy type of sebum. And that is why we are so prone to getting that sebum to create clogs on our skin or even acne to create that the blockage in our pores. Very, very interesting. Those who are not prone to acne don't have that level of keratin. But here's where squalolane comes in because not only can it help to regulate your sebum production, it can actually help to regulate the amount of keratin in that sebum, meaning that it's even better for those of us who are prone to acne and prone to clogged pores. Wow, so what can't squalolane do for all skin types, right? It's also just a very good ingredient for your moisture barrier. It can really help to fortify it. It can really help to hug moisture and hydration into your skin. So the second ingredient in the dual moist system is going to be microhyaluronic acid. Now we know hyaluronic acid, do we really need to say it's humectant that takes a lot of water from the environment and pulls it into our skin. We know that, we know. and. Hey, that's a good thing, right? Here's the thing. Traditional hyaluronic acid molecule is huge. And you may know this. It's a really big molecule that does not penetrate your pores at all. Traditional hyaluronic acid, even though it's an excellent humectant, if it just sits on top of your skin and doesn't penetrate your skin, not very beneficial for you. Am I right? However, skincare chemists step in again they've created microhyaluronic acid, which is basically chopping up the molecule into smaller pieces. It sounds really simple, right? If you make the molecule smaller, it will penetrate the skin. When that great humectant penetrates the skin and gets deep into your skin, that means you're getting hydration deep into your skin. And this is what's actually gonna be beneficial for your skin. Now, this uses microhyaluronic acid. This isn't just any old low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. This is microhyaluronic acid. And for you skincare geeks out there, that means they're using less than 5,000 Daltons. It's tiny. It's almost one of the smallest hyaluronic acids that is available for skincare use. So. Long story short, hyaluronic acid in this is going to get into your skin deeply, to deeply hydrate it. And this is where the dual moist process comes into play. Because first, you get the hyaluronic acid into your skin that is pulling hydration into your skin. So we're getting a lot of hydration into that barrier. But then we're also using that squalolane oil. That squalolane oil is moisture that is going to seal the hydration in. Now squalolane is also going to really help to fortify your moisture barrier. So it's going to be a 
dual moist process. Hydration hugged in with moisture. Okay, let's talk about products. The first product that I want to talk about is probably the one you're most familiar with if you've heard of Oliveria. And this is their Dual Moist Toning Lotion. Now this is a toner that is very watery, it's lightweight, um, and it's accepted by the skin really, really easily. Now this is a little bit different than some of your basic hydrating toners because it is very nourishing. It's very moisturizing on the skin. It has a little bit of a like an oil slip to it too. It, you know, it's not oily or greasy by any means, but when you just kind of like uh, run it across your skin or you feel it between your fingers, you can feel there's a richness to this. And that's definitely coming from the use of squalene oil. Now this toner, it does use the dual moist system. It's in the name, but we also have added centella in here, which we know is a beautiful ingredient for soothing. Now I really enjoyed using this toner and you're going to find me saying this word for pretty much every olive area product that I talk about. It's very balancing to the skin. And the reason that I say that it is it, it does hydrate your skin, but it also moisturizes your skin. And that's where we start to talk about our oil and water balances on our skin. Because the thing is, even if you have really dehydrated skin, you have to balance all the hydration you put on your skin with a little bit of moisture. You still need to do that. You really want your oil water balance to be balanced. And a product like this is a balanced product. It has both benefits for your skin, which I really, really enjoy. And that is what makes this a little bit different from your basic hydrating toner is it has some moisturizing uh, benefits to it. Now this, this toner, I, I really enjoyed using it in my routine. It, it's a really nice toner. It's, it's very, um, I don't know if neutral is quite the right word. It's just one of those products that doesn't really make a big impression on you and and that's that's not bad. It doesn't necessarily like blow you away with benefits and it doesn't necessarily like um you know make you go oh this product doesn't work. It just very like silently works in the background. You can tell that it's working, you can tell it's doing something, but it's neither like amazing nor terrible. Just in my opinion, it it, it is just a toner. Um I did like to use this with a hydrating toner layered before it, to be honest with you. I do like a little bit of hydration right after washing. I just like to get that water into my skin. But this was something nice to kind of start that sealing off process that I've talked about before in my moisture barrier videos. And then this is really where that dual moist kind of concept comes into play too. You know, you want to put the hydration in, but you want to start to seal it. And this is one of those good uh, products that starts to seal it in. Now this does retail for about $26. You get 180 milliliters, which is about a standard toner size. In my opinion, a little pricey. Yes. Oliveria does put an emphasis on natural and organic ingredients, so everything in here is of very high quality, which makes sense for the price. Still tiny bit pricey in my opinion, and I would really recommend this for those who do need that help with balancing your oil and water on your skin. I definitely do think this is really better for those who are suffering from more dryness on your skin because this is a great way to get moisture into your routine very early on. So let's talk about the Dual Moist Hyaluron Essence. And spoiler alert, this is my absolute favorite product from Oliveria that I tried. I love this stuff. So what this is, it's a thin and milky lightweight essence that uh, just really sinks into your skin really nicely, but it has a very nourishing feel on the skin. Now, as I said, I'm going to say this word a lot in this review. This is so balancing to the skin, especially if you struggle with either your your water on your skin, your dehydration, or if you struggle with moisture or dryness on your skin, this is gonna be appropriate for both, to be honest with you, because of that balance, it has both. It's using that dual moist concept in this product. And my personal experience with this, and the reason why I'm so like excited about this product is the fact that, you know, it is, um, I live in the Midwest and winter is, it's long and it's hard, it's cold and it's dry, and it just seems like it never ends. And so the transition into spring can be very hard on my skin, not only because my skin does change with the seasons, that's one part of the, the issue, but because spring is so unpredictable in my area, I mean, I have to be honest with you, right now, this very second, I am filming this video, it is, uh, this is, it's, it's basically May, it is snowing outside. That is how unpredictable the weather is here. Earlier this week, it was 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So 
that's how unpredictable the weather is. So not only do we have the ups and downs in the humidity levels and the dryness and the coldness and the wind, but then I also ha I am struggling with the fact that my skin is starting to change from being a lot more dry to being a little bit more combo and probably a little bit dehydrated. The reason that I'm kind of giving you this whole background explanation is the fact that every single spring, my skin freaks out. It either becomes incredibly like dehydrated, like completely void of any hydration, or I'll get really bad breakouts, really bad clogged pores. It's almost like, I mean, it almost feels like it's like due to allergies because it's just like how irritated my skin can get from all of this change and unpredictability. So long story short, there could be a lot of different reasons why my skin is just doing so well and let's knock on wood that it stays that way. But the fact that I've gotten through this season with like hardly any episodes of like reactive skin, I do think is in part to using a product like this. This came in at the right time. My skin needs both. I'm transitioning from really dry dry skin to more combo skin. And so getting that balance right is very important. And using a product like this really just made that transition very, very easy for me. So long explanation why I love this. Let's talk about ingredients. So this is part of the dual moist line. So we've got the microhyaluronic acid and the squalolane being used here, but we've also got some other ingredients, including that centella, which we found in the toner as well. Now, interesting thing, just a little side note about the centella being used in the Oliverier line. The centella that they use is actually cultivated for three years before it is harvested and extracted for skincare use. So it, it does mature for three years and because it is organic centella, it actually does not use any chemical uh, fertilizers or pesticides or anything like that. It is farmed organically. So I thought that that was really interesting. The centella in here is a very high quality. Other interesting ingredient in here, uh, they use this traditional Polynesian uh, technique that I've never heard of before. This, this technique uses Tahiti flowers that are soaked in coconut oil stick with me, soaked in coconut oil for 12 days. Then it is, um, it's strained, filtered, and purified. Then they add tocopherol into it. Now tocopherol is basically just vitamin E, which is a potent antioxidant. So you get this like, this beautiful botanical antioxidant ingredient that is in this essence as well. And who doesn't need more antioxidants in their routine, right? So this essence retails for about $36. You get 100 milliliters for that price. And as I said, this is my favorite product from Oliverier. And in fact, I'll go so far to say as if I could only recommend one product from the Oliverier line, this would be it because in my mind, this is the true like embodiment of that dual moist concept. Now, Oliverier offers two moisturizers in their line, and I tried the Emollient Extra Comfort Cream. Now, this cream is not part of the Dual Moist line, so you're not gonna find the hyaluronic acid in this product. We do have squalolane, and in addition to the squalolane, we also have the use of 20% of shea butter, which is actually really beautiful lipid for your moisture barrier. We also have 5% of panthenol. Now, panthenol is also known as vitamin B5, and it can actually help to your skin to retain moisture, but but it can also help to soothe irritation on your skin. And in fact, panthenol is a common ingredient found in um, products for infants and babies. It's often found in lotions and creams because it is so soothing for the skin, but it is also very, very good for sensitive skin. We also have coconut oil being used here as well. And um, coconut oil can be very good for your moisture barrier. Although some people do have problems with coconut oil and clogged pores. So I did just wanna kind of put that out there. If you know that you have issues with coconut oil, it is present in this cream. Now this retails for $29 and you get about 75 milliliters for this. To be completely honest with you, I would not recommend this cream for anybody but the driest skin types. And again, the, the description here, extra emollient. We know this is going to be very rich on the skin. This is best for dry skin types and those who are suffering from a lot of moisture loss on your skin. This is going to be the best cream for you. However, if you're not part of that category and you're still kind of like looking for a moisturizer, something a little bit lighter weight, maybe not as emollient, 
don't worry because Oliverio has you covered with their Dual Moist Comfort Cream. So the Dual Moist Comfort Cream is going to eliminate the use of the shea butter, the panthenol, and it's going to bring back the Dual Moist. We're going to have the microhyaluronic acid, the squalene. We're also going to have the centella that we've talked about before, the Tahiti flowers that are soaked in the coconut oil, plus the vitamin E. They are the same price. They both retail for about $29. Now, I do want to give you guys just one more um, product tease like an honorable mention and this is not a product that I tested from Oliveria but I do think that it's worth noting that it is available from Oliveria. That's their fluid oil and that is 100% squalene oil. There's nothing else in it just their squalene oil that they derive from olives. So my final word on Oliveria. This is a great brand, especially if it's really important for you guys to have minimal ingredients lists with the use of natural ingredients. This is also a great line to go towards if you're really concerned about cruelty-free and vegan brands. This is both, again, it is PETA certified. This is also a great skincare line to go to. If you have sensitive skin, remember they are not using any fragrance here. They're using very natural ingredients um, and they're not using well known irritants like essential oils or drying alcohols. And this really does check out in my book for products that are great for maintaining your moisture barrier. And I really do just want to give one more shout out to the Dual Moist Hyaluron Essence. This is definitely my pick from the Oliveria line. I absolutely love this product. So tell me in the comments, how do you guys feel about natural skincare? Are you all about natural ingredients in your skincare products or are you just not quite convinced yet? Let me know in the comment box below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I release two new skincare videos every single week, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss when I upload the new video. I hope you guys are having a really wonderful week. I cannot wait to see you in the next video, and we'll talk soon. Bye, guys.